Hey guys, so finally bought the iPhone 10 in the recent sale for about 35,000 rupees. You can see all the details here with all the discounts and cashbacks and stuff. So I already unboxed it but just wanted to show you the box contents. So in the box you are getting the earpods and also the cable as well along with the 5 watt charger. And I'm sure most people will be looking at the fast charger like this one that costs about 2000 rupees. But that's not enough, you also need to buy the Type-C to lightning cable as well for that PD fast charging but I had the uh, iPad charger that is 10 watt charger and when I tried uh, the charging you can see the results here so it's pretty good I would say and I'm not going to spend another 4000 rupees for the fast charging if you are looking to flaunt or show off then definitely do not buy this model it's a dated design and people know that it's an older iPhone and you should probably buy the iPhone 11 but I personally wanted an iOS device with good performance which it does provide the white color looks really good in fact in person it looks to be even better and it kind of is uh, like a classy elegant look the glass back feels so good in the hand and the aluminum borders actually kind of can be a little bit slippery so obviously you have to uh, get a case for this one so the main reason i chose this over the iphone 11 is because i don't really mind the single camera setup and uh, i had some silly reasons as well like the color options that were not available on the Amazon. So anyway, moving on, this came with the iOS 13 and I had to install iOS 14.2, the latest version. And you can see the app library and stuff. So far it's been doing well and the camera is definitely pretty good in terms of video. Tried the 4K 60fps and it looked butter smooth and really, really good, I would say. So one major issue that I found is that this was actually delivered yesterday, but I inserted the SIM today. And I noticed that the bars are mostly 1 or 2. I mean the DB is also around 1 or 5, 1 or 10 or so. So the network reception is definitely weak. I don't know what is happening. In fact, the calling experience has been bad. So I still need to figure out what is wrong. And my OnePlus Nord did not have such an issue. And the network reception in my area is not that bad. So I really need to test this more and find out what is really causing this. And I'll try and post another video maybe. So this was my quick hands-on and first impressions video guys uh, and I hope uh, the network thing gets fixed as well. So anyway, stay tuned. Thanks for watching guys. Like and subscribe. I'll see you soon.